yep, this is my calculus project. One, two, three, four. Underneath the polar graph is an area which, using math, we may obtain in simple steps by using BC calculus. This video will help to show the area that is below. A polar graph in standard practice will skip a solid about an axis. Due to matters much beyond us, which involve integrals most profundus. So here we go. We hope after watching, polar calculus you will stop watching. According to the latest maths, the area of a polar graph is the integral from alpha to beta and half of theta squared d theta. Alright, so we know how to obtain the area under a polar curve. Let's work through an AP pre response question from 2013. We want to find the area between these two graphs. The area between these two equations, let's call them R1 and R2 respectively, will be given as the area of the circle, minus that little bit above. The area of the circle is given as half of the integral of 9 from 0 to 2 pi. And the little strip above is given as half of the integral of R1 squared minus R2 squared from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. Putting everything together gives us this equation, which is approximately equal to 24.709. Alright, so now you know how to find area. So, you ready to do a problem? Yeah! So, why don't we find the area of one of the loops of 4 sine 2 theta? Now you set up the integral. Let's start by finding the integral of all the loops. All done? Yeah! The integral should look like this. If the integral looks like this, or this, then your answer will be wrong. So integrating will give you a value around 25.133, or 8 pi. Since you want just one loop, we'll divide by 4 to get 2 pi. Alright, so this is more to arc length and polar coordinates. We sadly inform you that a rhyme was lacking, and the arc length of polars almost sent us packing. We were related, though it caused us grief, the effort we made to rhyme was brief. Alright, so arc length is given as the integral from a to b of the square root of theta squared plus dr d theta squared, all integrated with respect to theta, of course. And I seriously couldn't find a rhyme for this. I mean, it was just one of those things, you know? It's like impossible. Um, so, why don't we find the arc length of sine theta from theta to pi? So, why don't you go ahead and set up your integral? You're done? Yeah! Alright, so, the integral is going to be the integral of the square root of theta squared and cosine squared theta from 0 to pi. Evaluating this gives us a value approximately equal to 5.634. Now, some of you are wondering how I'm putting all of this into my calculator. I'm using a TI-84, so what I'm doing is not necessarily going to work for you guys. Next to the second button, top left corner, there's a button labeled Mode. Push that. Go down to the menu that starts with Func, which, starts which stands for Function, and switch to Pol, which stands for Polar. Now you can integrate with respect to Theta, and type in Polar Equations when you hit the Y equals button. The 2013 BC calculus test was a topic that a horror of some of the best and appeared and gave rise to many a grouch. That the questions were hard and the teachers a slouch, but those who complained were the ones who declined to study the maths and polars defined. An exam day so caught them, so unprepared, that it taught them a lesson which we hope to share. To learn about polars, the UC should know to make your AP score 5 not so so.